As of November 2021, the Kazakh boxer is ranked as the world's second best active boxer, pound for pound by BoxRec. An intelligent pressure fighter, Golovkin is known for his exceptional powerful punching, balance, and systematic movement inside the ring. With 36 knockouts in 43 fights, he holds the highest knockout to win ratio in middleweight history. Golovkin is also said to have one of the most durable chins in the boxing world, having never been knocked down or otherwise stopped in a total of 393 fights, 43 as a professional and 350 as an amateur. Make sure to stick to the end of the video as we look over Golovkin's 10 greatest hits that displayed his exceptional destructive power. And Wade's plan for scoring the upset. Golovkin successfully defended his middleweight belts in April 2016, stopping Dominic Wade for his 22nd straight knockout victory. Golovkin dropped Wade in the first round with a right hand on top of the head. Wade's balance was thrown off by the shot, but he wasn't badly hurt yet. In the second round, Golovkin destroyed Wade with a ruthless assault of power punches. At one point in the second, Golovkin seemed to allow Wade to land punches on his face. Right hand, that might have finished it. <laughs> Seems to go into that thing, Roy, where Golovkin, however, took them and put a stop to the fight shortly after. It was the it was the Golovkin left oh. hand, and now it's the right hand. So and that's it. Right on the top of his left, boom, counter right hand, right on the chin, and that ended matters. Golovkin defended his three world titles via an eighth round technical knockout against an IBF world champion contender in October 2015. Golovkin established the pace with his jab while landing the power shots in between, keeping his challenger off balance the entire night. The 26-year-old Canadian was dropped by a body shot in the fifth round and sustained an additional punch to the head after he had taken a knee. He was badly staggered in the eighth, forcing the referee to stop the fight. The stoppage could be viewed as premature, but in reality, David didn't have a chance to win the fight. He would have only taken more punishment had the fight continued. Will walk right through you. In October 2014, Golovkin retained his middleweight titles and won the WBC interim belt with a second round KO victory against an overmatched Marco Rubio. Golovkin outworked Rubio in a competitive first round, landing more punches. In the second round, however, Golovkin landed a heavy uppercut and followed it up with a overhand left on top of the head that sent Rubio down to the canvas. Now he's got him pinned against the ropes. Let's see how he varies here. Predator at work. Yes. Second round knockout. That he didn't hear the count or that body shot, then he continues the attack. But that right uppercut was a devastating shot. And look yeah. at how he adjusted the arc. Golovkin was undefeated and on a 26 fight winning run when he fought Britain's Matthew Macklin in 2013. After dominating the first two rounds, Golovkin was able to pin Macklin against the ropes and land a stunning left hook to the body. Dropping Macklin, who was in horrible pain, that lasted longer after the 10 counts were completed. It was Golovkin's 14th knockout victory in a row. In a bloody and brutal middleweight title fight in January 2013, Golovkin overwhelmed a tough challenger, Gabriel Rosado. Gabriel was wounded near the left eye in the second round a nasty cut that only got worse as the night went on. He also ended up bleeding from the nose and the lip as he was hammered by right hands and powerful jabs from Golovkin, whose power was the obvious difference in the fight. 
Gabriel did have moments landing some good right hands here and there, giving Golovkin some lumps on the face as well. At this point. But and there's Rosado right there. Rosado's got his sandwiches. Oh, good right hand on the uppercut. He's supposed to be in there in round six, taking the oh. shots there. Let me stop the fight, No, 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 no. Let me stop the fight, Rosado wants to continue right to the face of Rosado. Cracked him up pretty good, and now Golovkin gets into a tough situation. Seems so. He's throwing back some punch. Rosado stopping it. Come on. They're getting Steve the result was a corner stoppage by Rosado's trainer, who threw in the towel during round seven to save his man, who was smashed and bleeding heavily from his nose and left eye. Good night. Yesterday, that this may be a couple rounds of him feeling Monroe out before he unleashes the heavy artillery. In May 2015, Golovkin defended his titles and defeated his American challenger via a six-round TKO victory. Willie started quickly in the opening minute of the first round with superior movement and jabs, but the pace slowed after that, with Golovkin cutting off the ring and outworking him. In the sixth round, Golovkin went forward and landed a flurry of blows on his opponent, dropping him down. With submission covered on his face, Willie barely beat the referee count. So he, took a, 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 he gave a jab to take a big shot. Then that left uppercut hurt him really bad right there. In March 2013, Golovkin defended his world titles against a former WBA welterweight champion who had lost his two fights but had never been stopped in his 13th career. Golovkin became the first to knock out Ishida, finishing him in the third round with a vicious overhand right. In June of 2019, Gennady Golovkin faced the previously undefeated Steve Rolls and knocked him out in the fourth round. Although Rolls performed well in the opening three rounds, hitting punches and refusing to shift, Golovkin pushed the Canadian fighter back in the fourth round with an overhand left to the head. Sensing Rolls was hurt and wobbled, Golovkin attacked and finished the night spectacularly with a left hook that struck Rolls as he fell down face first. to Canelo. The shot that I told you about. That was a chop at him at the stop hub, and boom, there's that left hook. But here it is, a Don King promoted fighter in against Gennady Golovkin. In May 2018, Golovkin successfully defended his belt with a second round knockout over his light middleweight contender. Golovkin put pressure on his opponent right away, backing him up against the ropes and landing his jabs. In the second round, Golovkin started quickly landing a right uppercut, followed by a body shot. He then connected with nine power shots, which were unanswered, and eventually the challenger fell face first to the canvas. Stevens' big shot is his left hook. In November 2013, Golovkin successfully retained his titles against Stevens via an eighth round technical knockout, breaking down his opponent with many brutal punches to the head and body. Stevens went down hard in the second from two left hooks to the head, and after watching their fight absorb enormous punishment, Stevens' corner stopped the fight in the eighth round. It's going to be the submit from stopping it. Big right cross by Golovkin. Whipping Kurt. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.